This weekend we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today's gospel, uh, the main characters are Mary and Joseph and the angel, of course. So as we begin, let's reflect on our lives, how God works in our lives. Sometimes we don't understand it right away, but later on, it all comes to light. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. Let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. Let, Let the, the Lord, Lord enter, enter, he is, he is the, king the king of glory. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let, Let the, the Lord, Lord enter, enter, he is the, he is king, the king of glory. Of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let, Let the, the Lord, Lord enter, enter. He, he is, is the king, king of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let, Let the, the Lord, Lord enter. enter, he, he is, is the king, king of glory. glory. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh, but established as son of God in power, according to the spirit of holiness, through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to be belonged to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet willing to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. 
grace to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was on retreat, one of the priests told us a story. And he told us, I guess I got there a little bit late. They were all talking about their favorite Christmas. And here's the story he was talking about. When he was a kid, it was just he and his sister, his mom and his dad. And he said this one, the week before Christmas, they all decided they would get a new nativity set, which they went down to that store they always went to, got the nativity set, brought it home. And as they're getting, they were get, taking it out of the box, they noticed something interesting in the box where um, Mary, Joseph, three wise men, three shepherds, there was a donkey, there was a cow, there was an angel, and there were two of the infant baby Jesus. And he said his mother got kind of really excited about it in a bad way and said, oh my God, that means somebody got a nativity set and they don't have a baby Jesus. So she said to the two kids, she said, you know, go down to the store and tell the man we bought it that if somebody comes into the store and their set didn't have a baby Jesus, to put that, write a little note on the door and put our phone number on there and we'll give them the extra baby Jesus. And the husband turned to her and said, are you crazy? It's 20 degrees below zero out there. No, 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 this, this has to be done. We can't have someone have an activity without Jesus. So the kids went down with their father. They walked down and he was aggravated about the whole thing. So it said they went down, they told the man, he put a sign on the door to the, what the, uh, their kid's mother had asked them to tell it, put it on, and with their phone number. Well, every time the phone rang from then on, she would say to the kids, ah, that's got to be the person looking for the baby Jesus. But it didn't happen that day. It didn't happen the next day or the next day. All week long, she expected it to happen. Well, on Christmas Eve, she sent her kids down with her husband and said, go look at the store, see if there's any nativity sets left, because if they're all gone, that means somebody's going to be calling us. Well, the husband was again aggravated that his wife wanted that to be done. He went down with the kids, the kids kind of ran ahead of him, looked through the window, all the nativity sets were sold. So dad, they went back, they ran back to their dad. He said, good, I don't have to walk that far. They got back to the house waiting to tell their mother, but she was gone. So was the, the second statue of the baby Jesus. So dad said to the kids, well, get out of your wet clothes. She said, mom probably took it, the car's gone. Mom probably took it to that family that um, had the missing statue. Just when he got his wet clothes off, and put on his warm clothes, let the fire at the fireplace, the phone rang. And he said to the kids, kids, answer the phone. It was their mother. Their mother said, tell your father and you guys come down. I'm going to give you an address where you've got to, here's what you have to bring. You have to bring three blankets, you have to bring some milk, and you have to bring some cookies. Tell your father, I'm, I'll explain it later on, but you guys have got to come down. So they told dad the message, and he said, Dad was really aggravated because it was cold, the wind was blowing, and said, um, I, I, what's going on with your mother? This is crazy. That's halfway across town. Well, they did what the mother had asked them to do. Dad and the two kids finally arrived at the address the mother gave. They looked. There was only a small candle in the window. That was the only light in the house. So they went up, they knocked on the door, and the kid's mom answered the door, and her husband just looked at her and said, what is this? She said, come on in, and don't complain. We're just going to do this. So she said to the kids, you take the blankets. There's five little ones on the couch. Cover those kids with the blankets. I'm going to take the cookies and the milk. I'm going to heat the milk up. And she said to her husband, here's the woman here. This is the mother of the kids. Said, um, she'll tell you the story, but their oil burner is broken. And I told her, you can fix anything so that you would fix the oil burner for her. So he said, um, he went and he fixed the oil burner. And the woman went on to say that her husband had left her with the five little kids. And she'd been doing OK. She was cleaning stores and cleaning homes. Everything was OK until the oil burner broke and their house was freezing. 
So he got it fixed up and there was able to have some heat. And then the, the kid's mother said to this woman, well, how much oil do you have? She said, we don't have much left. So she looked at her husband. He said, when we get back home, I'll make sure I get some more oil and we'll bring it back. They got home. He called his buddy, Ed, and he said, Ed, you still got that truck? I do. You still have that tank, that thing of oil in the back of your truck? I do. Said, come pick us up. We need that for family. So the guy went to priest went on to say, he said, you know, my sister and I were able to ride in the back of the truck even though it was freezing. And what mom had us do was get some of our gifts that we had gotten previous years, and we kind of wrapped them up as best we could. We came to the house. They put the oil in the oil burner and said, we brought the gifts for the kids under the Christmas tree. And then he ended the story with this. He said, you know, um, as two kids, in the beginning, when we got to be adults, we never questioned why there were two baby Jesuses in that nativity set, why we got nativity set in it, because God uses ordinary people to do extraordinary things. God bless. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now offer these prayers. For the church, during the darkness of these short winter days, may it show the world the vast light of Christ. So let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people, may they receive the grace to welcome the presence of Jesus that comes to us through the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, may it be deeply blessed for its great generosity to those in need during this Christmas season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are isolated or lonely, especially during this Christmas season, may they be consoled and strengthened by the love of Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died, May they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayer, to truly bless us on our journey through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of God's holy church. May this Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, sanctify the gifts on your altar, just as he filled with the power of the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother bore him in a womb with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald and made him known when at last he came. In his love, Christ has filled us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth, so that when he comes, he may find us watching in prayer, our hearts full of wonder and praise. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread 
gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Angelo and Mary Ann Anzalone, the deceased members of the John Sorek family and Cornelius Allen, the deceased members of the Para and Christian families, Paul Karasinski, John J. Casey Jr., whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, kingdom the power, the power, and the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer all those around us the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, almighty God, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever nearer, so may we press forward all more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.